Probably, probably, probably. Dude, I just saw this DVD player over there. It's 400 bucks now. It was 500 last week. Yeah, but Doug, we're not even in the store. But Robbie, you have to use your imagination. All right, what percent off is it? You know, I wish I could figure it out, but I couldn't even like pay attention to math class. But come on, Doug, math could be fun. Can, Can it really? I'll yeah, I'll show you. In this problem, we're going to use x to represent the percent of increase or decrease. Now that's the amount of increase or decrease over the original amount. In other words, find out how much the increase or decrease was, then divide that by the original amount given in the problem. Once you have this number as a fraction or decimal, change it to a percent. So the DVD player starts out at $500. Then you take away 400 which is the new price, and that gives you 100 So the decrease was 100 then you divide that by 500, which is the original price, and that gives you 0.2. If you convert that into percentage, it gives you 20%, and that's the amount of decrease. Man, Robbie, that was really fun. Sure was, Doug. We should do it again. Ah, but we need a premise for a problem. I don't know what to do. Do you have any ideas? Wait, Doug, how much is your car? I paid like 20 grand for it. How much is it now that your rice is out hard corn? Oh, it's worth like 110 now, man. Doug, I think we've got a problem with that. You bet! Okay, so Doug's car was originally $20,000. After he riced it out hardcore, it's $110,000. So the amount of increase would be $90,000. If you divide that by $20,000, the original price of the car, you get the decimal 4.5. That converted to a fraction is 450%, which is the amount of increase in the car's worth. All right, that was fun, Robbie. Yeah, I had to get going. Oh, come on, man. Let's do one more, huh? All right, you can never do enough, too much math. All right. Oh, let's whip up another problem. All righty. Hey, Doug, do you like to fish? You bet I like to fish. Well, you're going to like this new problem. It's a real catch. Suppose there's a fishing boat that catches 2,000 fish in March and 1,500 fish in April. The difference in the two numbers is 500, which you divide by the original number of fish caught, 2,000, and you get 0.25. You convert that to a percent and you get 25%. So we can conclude that the amount of fish caught in March decreases 25% to the amount of fish caught in April.